Hey folks, Alex Beefnaw here uh, with another taste test for you. Now this one's a little different. A few weeks back I did a taste test of something called Larvitz, which um, Larvitz being the brand name for barbecue flavored mealworms. Yes, mealworms. You heard that right. Uh, which it turns out were actually really, really good. Um, I, I have seen, I watched some other uh, taste tests. I didn't want to, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Pre-color my judgment um, by watching other people eat these things. But after I recorded it, I watched some other guys doing taste tests, and they'd eat like half of one, and they'd sit there going, Ew! Ew! It's gross! Ew! It's I had a handful of those sons of bitches, okay? They were delicious. They tasted exactly, I swear to God, exactly like barbecue pork rinds. The texture is a little lighter, but I, my hand to God, Barbecue pork rinds, okay? If you like barbecue pork rinds, you like the mealworms, anyway. So, uh, the place I got them from is a service station slash convenience store with, I might add, a beer selection to rival some full grown-ass liquor stores I've seen. Uh, they, ha they have these funky flavored sodas there that my friends over at Metcor have been known to do taste test videos of. Um, and by strange flavored sodas, I mean bacon. I mean ranch dressing, okay? The things that were not meant to be carbonated are carbonated. But in addition to that, uh, they had the larvits. So um, I, I sort of, uh, you know, it, all in good fun, challenged the Metcore crew to go taste test the larvits. Well, they shot back with, we'll see your mealworms and raise you crickets. Um, yes, they also had crickets over there. What is this red thing that I'm seeing on the... What is that? That's on this side. What the hell is that? Oh, oh, it's, that's the recording. <laughs> I, I kind of have this the um, screen on the camera reflecting off the shiny part of my monitor so I can see what's going on here. But anyway, uh, they also had crickets in addition to the larvettes. I did not get the crickets. I, I didn't think they were going to do this, but um, oh, my cat has a, a, a doll shoe. That's interesting. Um... They said they would see my mealworms and raise me crickets. Well, guess what? I'm not only going to try the one flavor that was available there. I'm going to try all three flavors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went there. We're going to do this thing. So, um, now, the mealworms uh, are easy to eat because they don't have any parts, uh, shall we say. It's pretty much just a straight tube. Um, there are no legs, there are no wings, there are no eyeballs, nothing like, well, there's little, eye, little beady eyes, but you can just not look at them. Eat the butt first, you know? Um, crickets have parts. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to start with the flavor that I am most likely to hate, and not because it's crickets so much as because it's salt and vinegar. I just, I'm not a fan of salt and vinegar. Do I have any scissors up here? Oh, shit. Um, that's, uh, I'll use a nail clipper. It's, <laughs> it's fine. So, um, if need be, I have the palate cleanser. If need be, I have the super palate cleanser. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I'm not doing a handful of these. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, not sorry. If you look at the back of the box, if you get a hold of these, so it's the other green meat, and it has the little diagram with the drumsticks and the wings and the the uh, flank and yeah, the rump. Yes, yes, rump of cricket. Pass me that rump of small bug there. I'm having the hardest time opening packages today. All right, all right. Let's get one with with parts so we can just get this out of the way. All right, one salt and vinegar flavor cricket going down. Uh, yeah, the face I'm making is not because of the cricket. It's the salt and vinegar. Woohoo! Blech! I don't understand why people like that flavor of potato chips. Chinga! That is sour. <laughs> the cricket itself, I am I thought the legs would be more of a problem than they were. They're really not that bad. Um, the te yeah, texture-wise, it's not bad. Not as crispy as the mealworms, um, but I mean, it's not recognizable as a bug. And mm, just so you know, these are not wild caught crickets. 
like the mealworms, they are actually raised for human consumption, okay? They're not pulling these things out from under a rotten log where it's been eating dead bodies and God knows what. Um, they are raised for human consumption. They're fed nice, clean oatmeal or whatever it is that crickets eat. Um, I'm going to do the sour cream and onion next. I'm saving what I think will probably be my favorite flavor for last. So, um, yeah, I've put the salt and vinegar aside for now. Oh, this one is in a nice little peely thing. No, it's not. I lied. It's... Why would you seal it and stick it? That's stupid. All right. Let's uh, nip the corner there. So, these... Yeah. Damn it. Uh, this is the sour cream and onion. Yeah, this one's got a nice little drumstick on it. All right. Kind of a nutty texture to them. Got a little bit of sour cream and onion, but not much. Um, this one I can actually taste more of the actual cricket. And it tastes like some kind of a... It's a, it's like a pistachio, almost. Buddy, no. Do you want a cricket? You want to eat a bug? Here. You want to eat a bug? Hold on. Want a cricket? He's thinking about it. Yeah, it's a cricket. You want it? No. Okay. No, yeah, it's not bad. The parts are not nearly as bad as I was afraid they would be. Actually, I'm, I'm digging the texture, honestly. Because it's... Okay, bud, you gotta go. Alright, see you later. Yeah, I'm, those are actually pretty good. I still like the mealworms better, but... Hmm. Alright. Get the palate cleanse on here. And finally, bacon and cheese. I saved these for last because I think I'm probably gonna like them the most. But, uh, and you know, if you can get past it being a bug, bugs are good for you. And they're pretty much nothing but protein, no fat. I mean, this whole, this whole three pack sampler is about 12 calories. Dude, no. Oh, ow, God. What, buddy? What? Yes, I see you. Okay. Get this open. There we go. All right. And these are actually kind of dessert. I just got back from eating Chinese food, <laughs> which I'm pretty sure didn't have any crickets in it. All right. Bacon and cheese cricket. Hmm. I do not taste much bacon nor cheese. That's disappointing. I taste cricket. <laughs> Which, um, to be fair, is not that bad. Let me get another one. Let me just see if I just got a, a, an unseasoned one. No, bacon and cheese is disappointing. Well, that one had a little bit more flavor on it. But okay. Anyway. All right, Metcore, it's your turn. Well, I'll see y'all eating crickets now, okay? Go get you some crickets and just uh, share them amongst yourselves and let's see it. Okay, so yeah, um, final verdict, they're edible. They're, they're tasty. Um, the salt and vinegar is salt and vinegar. I didn't need the Gentleman Jack, so that's a plus. Dude, can you not? So uh, yeah, um, try some crickets. Gross out your friends. They're, they're really good for you. And they're, they're good, too. All right. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, ah, uh, yes. Uh, on the subject of extra life, uh, had uh, kind of a disappointing uh, Earthbound marathon last week. There is still some time to raise money. On every video I do, there is a link down at the bottom in the description, uh, beefnopolis.com slash charities, that will have a link on it that will take you to my Extra Life donation page. I am raising money for Texas Children's Hospital. I just ate like five crickets for you. So the least you can do in return <laughs> is to cough up five bucks to uh, help some kids. Uh, what do you get out of it? Well, you become a Knight of Beefnopolis, which means basically I either put your statue in Modern Beefnopolis uh, in um, Hermitcraft Mod Sauce 2, or I name a street after you. Um, 
because I'm going to be having streets and crap there. But yeah, uh, I may be doing a, an art stream at some point. I found a neat little 100 materials challenge. I might uh, attempt to do that in one sitting. So um, come by if, if I do that and uh, say hi and open up your wallets. It's twitch.tv slash beefnopolis. All right. All right, buddy. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today, folks. Um, I'm going to finish off the crickets that tasted good and throw away the ones that were not so good. So I will see you later, folks. Bye-bye.